I do have yes. a question for you regarding physical therapy. It's all whiskey, by the way. All whiskey. <laughs> you're not a big – well, I mean, I guess – like, I never thought – you're like, I don't think of Tyler Rothrock and, like, big drinkers. And can you guys – can you guys see what? me okay? Like, yeah. I don't, I'm not used to this kind of setup. Yeah, you're, no, good. No, you're good. You're good. You're good. No, okay. I don't. Okay. Like, I mean, I think five I years used to be ago, a yeah. you were more, like, you know, <laughs> remember that one time we were, like, coming back? We were down there. My wife and I were down there, like, at Music Fest, and then I, we don't have to put this. You were like, hey, I tried to get into the car, and it was the wrong car. Yeah, yeah. No, I, 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 uh, I have very a very good <laughs> recollection of that whole ordeal. Like, because it got me ago. in uh, trouble with the law, George. Yeah, good... I'm not saying I'm I, I'm not clean either, but <laughs> actually, you talking to you and Crystal kind of got me off the ledge because I had to do a show that night, and I'm like, I'm not doing it. I don't want to do it. I, I I was in jail last night. <laughs> I think we told like, you like ah, worst thing worst things have happened, <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> and it's music fest. Like if you don't wind up in jail once, yeah. like did you really experience it? More importantly, we have Carrie here who. Will hopefully help me out of my Jerry Bell pole check. Hello. How's it going? She's a physical therapist. I just learned this. Yeah. Ten seconds ago. No, but that's it's interesting too because you think of all of these industries and you forget a ton of them because we're talking about the you know the the huge ones which affect everybody. But Carrie, can you kind of introduce yourself and, and describe what you do and then maybe what how things have changed for you in the last month or so. Yeah. Um, so I am a physical therapist. I do all private pay on demand in the Lehigh Valley. So I go to people's homes and to their offices, park-based. Um, so I travel all around the Valley. Um, so for me, it, I just, I'm not seeing anybody. Um, and I probably stopped seeing patients about whenever like maybe like three weeks ago, three and a half weeks ago. Um, and started doing some like virtual on online stuff. But even that's like, that's like, you know, definitely more limited because a lot of my, a lot of my clients where you actually physically have to touch them. So, mm -hmm. um, so that's changed, changed like drastically. People still need, so these places are kind of not going right now, right? Like, but people yeah. still need physical therapy. Like they're right. not, they're, their injuries aren't healing just because there's a virus right now. So what, what are the suggestions? What are, the, what are people supposed to do? Well, I, I mean, I was talking to someone else about this the other day. It's definitely important to figure out if you are a high priority case or if you're a low priority case. So people who had, have had surgeries, um, things like that, that definitely need to get physical therapy, they're at a higher risk if they don't receive it. Um, for instance, if you get a shoulder replacement and you don't get your physical therapy, you could form a blood clot and, you know, obviously get very injured yeah. um, from, from that blood clot. And now you're in the hospital. So what, now your risk of getting COVID is even higher. Um, so I do think a lot of the, some of the um, like major offices are still open, but they're only taking high priority cases. Yeah. Um, yeah. And then well, what are you like, telling people to do in, yeah. in virtual, you know, therapy sessions? that you say it's limited, but what are you, yeah, like, what, like, like George has, well, you have some plantar fasciitis. What, what would you tell him in a virtual se session right now? Yeah. So plantar fasciitis, all the very painful, low priority, low priority. You don't have to like go into a clinic for that. Um, I would tell George, you know, at home, like, do you have a golf ball, you know, yeah. sit at your desk and, you know, roll your foot over the golf ball. Um, take a, a plastic liter bottle, fill it up with water, freeze it, roll that on your foot. I would yeah. tell him to shut it half. So I just advise him on stuff that he can do, you know, like on his own, like in his home. Yeah. Um, and then for the more serious stuff, you do kind of have to go in somewhere, right? For the more serious stuff, I tell people, go to the clinic, get your hands on therapy done, like have someone move your shoulder, move your leg, um, don't do any exercises and then get the heck out of there and like go yeah. home. And like do the rest at home on your own. Yeah, it makes so. sense. All right. <clears throat> no, yeah. I mean, that's. I'm like, sorry. I was just listening to you guys talk. Yeah. I mean, it's. I've done all that, and you know, I know different ways to to handle it. And my, you know, my with plantar fasciitis is it sucks. But there are people out there with much more difficult things. Like how are how are people who aren't who need this? Like what are you kind of telling them? Like they they need it for pain mitigation. 
Yeah. So people are still going into people's homes. Um, however, if anyone has like an active cough, that visit is automatically um, canceled. Um, upon walking into a door, everyone gets their temperature checked. Um, so these things are happening right when you get into the doorway. And if there's a temperature or an active cough, the visit's canceled and you leave. Um, if it's not, then you proceed with caution. Your people are, I mean, the masks, the gloves, even like the, like the full like suits, people are just wearing those during sessions and then, and then leaving and only doing like the essential part of the therapy and then getting out. And you, um, you, but, you've chosen to not do anything, right? I've chosen to not do anything. Yeah. Yeah. But I also have a toddler. Um, so I'm just kind of like, I've, ch I've chosen just to like step back. Um, I'm also my own business. So, I mean, all the liability falls on me. Right. Um, I just would hate for anything to, anything to happen. So. so, so what, I mean, what are your plans moving forward then? I mean, I know there isn't any, I don't know. Like, what do you, we can't see an end to this, but say it is in April. Like, what are you planning to do? Yeah, that is a fantastic question. Get a different job. <laughs> no, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I mean, us too. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, honestly, I have no idea. <laughs> um, I guess, you know, trying to ramp up on the, on the virtual sessions um, and then maybe taking on any like high priority clients going in with very great caution if I have to. Um, but still, I mean, it's still very low. I mean, all my, all my clients, I still talk to on a regular basis. They have full access to me without any charge, like via text, email. Some of them are sending me videos of them, like attempting like very interesting home workout programs that they've designed. <laughs> so I what about, videos. What, what, what about somebody, you know, that doesn't have an injury, but trying to stay uh, like not only fit, but like I, you know, you know, I have like a, a knee situation. Like what are some, like, it's not necessarily an injury, but it's something like that's just annoying. What, what do you suggest people do at home just to kind of keep their bodies like ready for uh, emerging from this? Yeah. Um, I'm a huge fan of the 30 day challenges that are going around right now. I mean, there's tons of apps that you can download. Um, I know I was like working off the Peloton app. I know they have some, like all these different programs. So I think people to have something to focus on um, in 30 days just seems like a good amount of time because that seems to wrap up, you know, hopefully when this quarantine will be over. So people should pick a 30 day challenge and, and just stick to it every day, whether it's like a push up challenge, a squat challenge, whatever it is that they want to do. Yeah. But just something every day to kind of like, you know, check off their to-do list. Right. Um, and it breaks so the day up too. It makes, I mean, we're doing nothing. Well, you know, yeah. we work a little bit here and there, but you know, there's a bunch of, op you know, options for like hot yoga has the live stuff. And um, yeah. so there's no shortage of things to do, but it's kind of tough to self-motivate, right? It's like tough to, it's way easier just to watch Netflix on the couch. Or yeah. it's still in your bed. Oh, yeah. That's the hardest yeah. thing. It's like getting out of bed in the morning. It's like, do I? I don't have to. It's cool if I just stay it's in here. Tough. I mean, even when bed. you're talking about plantar fasciitis, and I'm not, again, not complaining or whatever, but when I work in the attic, I have to walk. I could mitigate this by wearing shoes around the house all day. So I can't complain. I'm not complaining. I'm done. Well, is, <laughs> but it where, does suck though. Barefoot is probably good for it, right? No, it's bad because my it's arches are low. It. So I want. You know, you're supposed to wear, and I have these inserts, and they work when I walk. So I already know the answer to this, and it's my fault. So there. I've Wait, George, do you have flat feet? Yeah. I have. I bet you my feet are flatter than yours. I've, Maybe. I've, I don't know. I didn't, I didn't ask it. for – Yeah. I went to the places – like, doctors have told me I have the flattest feet they've ever seen. No. Which is, which is, yeah. Hey, Tyler, when they say that, they're, like, that they're like, Tyler, you have the flattest feet. I've ever no, seen. Are they like impressed? No, they don't think it's a good thing. They're not like you should. This is bad. You, should, you know, you should go, you should lead with this. They don't say that. Okay, but I have to get well, inserts too. No flip flops. Speaking of that, <laughs> yeah. Well, that's the thing. I used to love flip flops and all that. I can't really wear them anymore because I mean, I the thing is because it's so flat, I don't get that support, and that's why it hurts. So, get custom flip flops, which are support. That's I could do that. Well, thank you for that idea. Smart. You're All right, Tyler. We're just okay, you, what you do is you glue your insert on top of the flip flop. 
and you've already made your own custom flip flop. How about that? That's that could be done. Be I would assume. Yeah, but I think with the inserts, you Not have the reaction to have. I was expecting. I thought more because I think you have to have reaction. you have to have lateral. So like part of the insert is the heel of the shoe also. Yeah, is integral yeah. in it. So it, I know what you're saying. Right. I know what you're saying. I, I get all the well, terms. Carrie, is there any? How can people reach out to you? Yeah, so people can. Re I have a website. Um, it's uh, velohealth.com. Um, also on Yelp. Um, so people can just like reach out to me via that. I am given just like during this time, just like free advice. So if anyone wants to reach out to me, they have like a question um, that I can just answer via email or like a like a Zoom like, call. Like, just enter, like relationship advice. What if somebody wants to come? Anything, like about? anything. Yeah, anything uh, they want to talk I'm about. Having a hard time at at work. Um, <laughs> So yeah. you need physical therapy advice, right? That's what it is. Stock what advice? Stock, yeah. Stock, no, none of that. <laughs> <laughs> Day trading. You, 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 you get yourself in a lot of trouble very quickly. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Stock advice. Yeah. Well, Carrie, thank you so much. We appreciate okay. it. And yeah. Well, well, yeah, we'll make sure that, well, like I said, hopefully I can figure my stuff out, but we make sure that everything you know, works well for you and your clients, and we hope to talk to you again. Yeah, thank you. All right. All right. See you. See you later. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.